Oh, hi everyone, and welcome back to Not Another Bonsai Channel. Well, this is part three of the I'm making a tanuki out of this piece of deadwood. So if you haven't seen part one and part two, I will put links to those videos in the description below. But this, just in case you don't know, and if you haven't seen the past two videos, this is a piece of deadwood that was kindly sent over to me from Andy over at Bonsai Crazy. Uh, thanks again, Andy, for this piece of deadwood. Uh, this, I think, is a piece of, uh, I think it's privet. I think he said it's privet. And the challenge was to turn this into a tanuki. So you can see I've already come in here with a chainsaw to carve out the middle and I've also done a bit of carving just in there just to hollow out this section. Uh, what you caught me doing at the beginning of this video was just marking in this section here and my idea was to carve this out too to make a hole going through here so that it comes through on this side. The reason being is that I'd like to have a tree coming up through the back side and utilize this branch here so maybe we could bring it bring the, uh, the, the ash tree through and then maybe wrap it around this. So I think today what I try to do is with the Dremel come in here and try to carve out that hole. Now before you attempt any kind of carving work like this, it, it is always important that you do carry out some safety procedures first. So always wear a pair of gloves, and always wear a pair of protective glasses. So for this, I'm just going to wear these, and these will just protect my eyes, just in case any bits of wood or any sort of splinters or anything fly off whilst I'm doing this carving work. Right, so I have the bit in my Dremel, so let's begin. Let's turn it on and let's get started. You know, I think by doing this work with the Dremel, we are going to be here until, well, Christmas. <laughs> so it's just going to take us ages. So I think what I might do, I might bring back the chainsaw. Uh, let's uh, remove the bulk of this material with the saw, and then we'll come back with the Dremel and do all of the fine touches and neaten everything up. Right, so we have the chainsaw primed and ready. Let's begin. So you can see that has removed a lot of material in a very short amount of time. So that's all we need the chainsaw for. So let's just put the cap back on, put this away and get back to using the Dremel. So now that we've made that initial cut with the chainsaw, that has removed a lot of material. And that now means that if we turn on the Dremel, we can come in here and then just tidy up some of these, these rough points at the sides. You know what I'm finding is that using a Dremel is very, very slow going. So I think it's uh, if I put all of this in one video, we're going to be here for a very, very long time. So I think what I might do, I might put some of my heavy duty bits into my drill. We try to carve away a lot of this waste wood that we don't need. And then uh, we wrap up the video. And then in part four, I'll come back with the Dremel and do all of the fine work. See, all I'm trying to do is really carve out this section a bit more so it looks a bit more natural because obviously coming in with the chainsaw has left quite a crude cut but yeah doing it with the Dremel it just took ages and ages so I think what we do I'll use some of my more heavy duty bits which don't fit into my Dremel uh, but they will fit into my drill. So what I'm trying to do is carve back this section here because that's obviously this is where the chainsaw came through the bar of the chainsaw came through and it's left this rather crude edge just here. So with the bit now in the drill, let's begin.
So I'm afraid rain is going to have to stop play. It's uh, just started to rain, it's getting heavier and heavier. So obviously with having electrical equipment outside, it's not the best idea. So I think I'm going to have to wrap up this video. I know I didn't get as much done as I originally planned. I did want to do more clear up work on the uh, on the dead wood to try to clear up some of those chainsaw marks that we made in the in the last video. And then of course we cut the V in, so that added even more, you know, rough work that we needed to clear up. So you know, I didn't do what I originally sort of intended to do, um, but you know, it, it is it is getting there. It is gradually becoming the piece of dead wood that I do want it to become. And eventually the day will come where we can put the ash trees up it, and it will look like a fantastic looking uh, tanuki, hopefully, fingers crossed. Anyway guys, uh, thanks for joining me on this one and as always, take it easy, have a great day and I will catch you on the next one.